Good evening. Here is the world news from BGI TV. TV. I am Moriri Rebila Lawal. First are the major headlines for the world news. Asu strike. We have done all we can. FG. Nigeria Army Invade Rivers Community begins harassment and torture. Court grant Ogun Assembly Speaker. 300 million naira bill. Drama as Laute graduate British school to return certificate demands every fee he has paid. Three suspected kidnappers arrested in Ogun Forest, victims rescued. I am tired of this country, boy found inside packed aircraft says. And to foreign, Nigeria, Poland signed MOU on agriculture. Finally, on sports, Super Eagles face Desert Warriors of Algeria in international friendly during the FIFA friendly moments. Now the news in detail. The federal government says it has done all it can to end the ongoing industrial action embarked upon by the Academic Staff Union of Universities, ASU. The Minister of Education, Adamu Adamu, who stated these on Tuesday while meeting with the pro-chancellors and vice-chancellors of federal universities at the National Universities Commission, NUC Abuja, said all previous efforts by the federal government to return the lecturers back to class are proved abortive. He said he and many government officials had engaged the union on several occasions to end a seven-month-old strike. We have done the best that we can in the circumstance, and after his uh, ministerial consultation and rounds of ad negotiation with all government agencies, we interacted with the unions. I personally gave it all it required to resolve the current challenges. I met the unions everywhere and anywhere possible with facts, with figures, and with absolute sincerity. For example, I directly met with ASU leadership in my house, in my house and office. And on the ASU Secretary went on several occasions, in addition to other formal engagement going on, he said. The minister added that President Muhammad Buhari had directed them not to accept any demand that is not feasible. Daily Post reported that ASU had on February 14, 2022, shut down public universities demanding full implementation of previous agreements the union and the FD had entered into. It was gathered that fully armed military personnel stormed the community to arouse and assault the residents in the area. There is tension in Vile Kingdom in the Degema local government area of River State following the invasion of the area by armed men believed to be troops of the Nigeria Army on Tuesday morning. It was gathered that the fully armed military personnel stormed the community to arouse, assault, and arrest, arrest residents. Videos obtained by Sahara reporters shows. Soldiers trying to forcibly access homes in the community. They also show as some residents were arrested by military personnel. A resident who spoke on condition of anonymity said, Sea pirates attacked the community boats and killed some of our kingsmen traveling to Port Accord. They also exchanged fire with men of the Nigeria army and killed some soldiers. Now the army is invading communities in that area, arousing and beating innocent people. We also lost some of our people in the pirate attack. Sahara reporter gathered that from another resident that a pirate had attacked the community and some commercial ship. They reportedly killed one passenger and injured others during the attack before they headed to a military checkpoint where they also killed two personnel of the Nigeria army which led to the attack of the Nigeria army in the community. The Freya Bray media aide to the chairman of a local government area said the invasion could be connected to the death of two officers of the Nigeria army we were allegedly killed by sea pirates last Friday. He, however, added that he could not confirm if soldiers were killed. Another resident of the community, Garik Ibima, told Sarah reporters that the soldiers laid siege to the community for hours and around residents following the recent attack by sea pirates. Moving on to the next story on the world news. A federal high court sitting in Lagos State has granted bail to the Speaker of the Ogun State, 
as of assembly or lakunle or luomo in the sum of 300 billion naira with shorties in like sum. Justice Daniel or Siago on Tuesday granted bail following no objections from the EFCC. Channel Television had earlier reported that the speaker was arraigned over alleged 2.5 billion naira money laundering charges. The Council for the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, Rotimi Oyenipo, told the court that it would leave the issue of bail solely with the discretion of the court. The counsel to the speaker, Kenge Ogunwami, signed on his part asked the court to admit his client to bail on liberal funds. In granting bail to speaker, Justice Osiago held that one of the shorties must be not less than a level 16 officer in the civil service while the other must possess landed property within court jurisdiction. And to some parts of Oyo State, a graduate of Ladoki at Kintola University of Technology, Lautech, has turned his alma mater to return his certificate and demand a refund of his fees. The man can be seen in a viral video claiming that he has not profited from possessing the certificate therefore want to return the certificate and have his fees collected. According to him, he has been struggling since graduation with no financial benefit to show for having the certificate to him. The man was air speaking in Yoruba, I'm suffering, refund my money. I'm suffering, take your certificate, return my money. You can watch the video from likable channels on online. Moving to the next story, Operatives of the Ogun State Police Command have arrested three suspected kidnappers at a forest along the Mekko Iwoye K2 Road and rescued three victims of their kidnap operation on Earth. The spokesman of the command, Abim Bola Oyemi, confirmed this development in a, state, in a statement issued on Monday. Oyemi gave the names of the suspect as Ali Abubakar, 29, Umar Otuko, 24, and Yahoo Isa, 25. He said they were arrested following a district call received by operatives at Ibeko Divisional Police Headquarters that kidnappers numbering about eight armed with dangerous weapons blocked tarmac in Woye Road and shooting sporadically to scare away residents. The information revealed that the ill lungs had injured the door of Bode Ogulaye and Mohammed Basa, while the trio of Al Adi Fatai Abdul Salam, Al Adi Dauda Orinope, and Al Adi Rafi were abducted by the same group. Upon the receipt of the district call, the divisional police officer in Mekko Division mobilized his men in conjunction with those of Amateko Corp, Soul Safe Corp, Hunters Vigilantes, as well as Fulani Yoruba youths, and stormed the forest in search of victims and their abductors. Oyemi said, due to intense pressure, the kidnappers abandoned their victims and took to flight, leaving an unregistered Bajaj motorcycle behind at their eat out in the forest. The victims were rescued on off while the security operatives continued covering the bush, which led to the discovery of the three among the suspects where they were hiding in the forest. Moving on to the next story concerning insecurity and some parts of air lifting. The 14 year old story Starway found unconscious inside one of the airlines of United Nigeria is now safe in the custody of the airport. Authority where he is being held for further investigation. A statement by Olua Tosin Onolaja, head of media at Biocatney Aviation Service Limited, BASL, operators of the MMA2 terminal, disclosed that the board told investigators that he gained access into the airside through an opening at Ilezik Fans Perimeter Fence along Lagos Abekuta Expressway. The invader, who gave his name as Rashid Muftao, said he was tired of the country and wanted to travel abroad. According to Onolaja, at around 6.10 a.m. on Sunday 4th, September 2022, United Nigeria, the airline informed by a company, Aviation Service Limited, of a 14-year-old stowaway boy found unconscious inside one of the aircraft. The incident boy was brought out of the aircraft and taken to the MMA2 clinic for first aid medical attention. He was later transferred for further treatment to FAN clinic where he regained consciousness at about 10.20 a.m. Upon further interrogation by a combined team of BASL and FAN Aviation Security Officers, among the information obtained from the board revealed his age as 14 years and named as Rashid Muftar, who lives in Badagri but hails from Kwara State. 
He described himself as an orphan and disclosed that he gained access into the air side through an opening at Ilezik along the Lagos Abekuta Expressway. From that story, we'll go to foreign story. The President, Major General Mohammed Buhari, retired, and his Polish counterpart, Andres Duda, have signed a memorandum of understanding on agriculture to strengthen collaboration between both countries in the sector. Duda discloses while briefing journalists at the front porch of the presidential villa Abuja shortly after a closed door session with President Mohamed Buhari. According to him, the MOU becomes necessary in the light of Russia's aggression in Ukraine and the consequent food crisis. Describing Russia's aggression as unjustified, Duda noted that his country is supporting affected states and its partner countries to boost agricultural reef. Moving to the final story on sports. The Super Eagles of Nigeria will be facing the Desert Warriors of Algeria in an international friendly on September 27th at the new stadium, Oran, Algeria. Both nations failed to qualify for the 2022 World Cup in Qatar, with Nigeria losing out to beat the rivals Ghana and Algeria beating to the ticket by Cameroon. Algeria were initially built to face the Black Stars of Ghana for the international friendly, but Ghana pulled out of a tie, compelling the Algerian football tourists to get another opponent. Algeria defeated Nigeria 2-1 in the semi-final of the 2019 Africa Cup of Nations via a 95th minute free kick from Man City winger Riyad Mahrez. Algeria will go on to win Senegal in the semi semi in the final thanks to Baghdad Mojet second minute strike. The match is expected to be a part and tough test for Super Eagles manager Joseph Pesero, as Algeria have also proven to be a tough opponent for the Super Eagles so far this season. That concludes the world news from BGI TV. Before we go, let's quickly have some major stories, which are the headlines. Also strike, we've done all we can, FG. Nigeria Army in Van Rivers community begins harassment and arrest. And finally, Super Eagles face Desert Warriors in International Friendly. For more updates on YouTube, our handle is Baba Bagide Imo TV. Kindly subscribe and click on the notification bell for you to select the option all and access to our broadcast. On Facebook, Bagade Imo with Alawi Adibayo. Please like and follow the page. On Instagram, Bagade Imo underscore 22. For advertisement of goods and services, coverage of events and function, please call the phone number streaming on your screen for other placements only. Thank you for watching. I am Mobiri Rebila Lawa. Good evening. Oh, na -na -na. If you want to know what's going on in city, uh, or you want to listen to the latest news and gist, no stress, oh, just listen to BGI TV. BGI TV. Yeah, I want it, I need it.